CBS Mornings on this Friday, July 21st. I'm Tony DeCopel. I'm Michelle Miller. And I'm Nancy Chen. Gail and Nate are off, but we're in great hands. Let's go to today's eye opener, Your World in 90 Seconds. A deadly heat wave and dry conditions endanger firefighters battling wildfires as millions struggle with the temperatures. You can blame this right here. High pressure heat dome that's been parked over the southwest for the better part of a month now. Police investigate whether the Gilgo Beach murder suspect has ties to other unsolved deaths. He will be checked in the national, in the local DNA basis. Presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is grilled on Capitol Hill over remarks about COVID-19. I have never uttered a phrase that was either racist or anti-Semitic. Officials in South Africa are investigating a tremendous deadly explosion. Surveillance footage showing the last. Whew, look at that. Incredible video out of Argentina where a pedestrian somehow evaded. What a close call. The 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup has officially kicked off. The U.S. team begins its quest tonight against Vietnam. The British Open, Victor Hovland is getting ready to hit, and a bird does his business on him. Uh, no. Wow. They just got <laughs> That's tremendous accuracy out of that bird. <laughs> that means good luck, no? <laughs> this bear is absolutely destroying the inside of my car right now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's my car with a bear inside of it. So fun. It was an unbearable situation. A woman was shocked to find a bear wreaking havoc in her car, but with some help, she handled it in stride. <laughs> We're calling my car the bear trap. Bear trap. Bear trap. I don't know what to do with this. This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Welcome to CBS Mornings. They say one of the great things about living out in the country is you don't have to lock your doors, but apparently <laughs> you do when it comes to bears. Yeah, you think that's covered by insurance? Uh, I would hope so. Yeah, let's yeah. cross our fingers for Jeez. her. She was pretty happy about the whole situation. She had a good sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> We have got a big show to close out the week, including another powerful piece from David Begnaud. This one is about a man who got a frightening diagnosis and was told he had just three months, three to six months to live. That's when he made an important decision, and now he's showing us all how to live. He's got an incredible story to tell. Plus, today is the day the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team begins their World Cup journey. They are widely considered favorites, but there are big challenges ahead. We'll look at how they are trying to do something no soccer team has ever done before. I love the Women's World Cup. It is one of my favorite sporting events every four years. But we have to begin with the news this morning, and the news is the heat. And we're not just talking about summer heat. We're talking about a deadly heat wave that is feeling more like a heat tsunami in the south and the southwest. Triple digit temperatures will not let up for about a third of the country. And in some places that's been true for weeks. Take a look at this behind me. This is how hot it's been in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, we've been counting, will mark 22 straight days with high temperatures above 110 degrees. Just look at that chart. It broke the record at 19 days and we are still counting. Carter Evans is in Palm Springs, California for us, which is even hotter than usual for this time of the year. Carter, it's not just summer. This feels like something different. Good morning. It it is very hot. I mean, even this early in the morning, it's still sweltering. Right now, it's 92 degrees, and honestly, that feels like a break from the weather we've had uh, during the daytime. And you might expect the streets behind me to be empty uh, this time of the morning, but it'll probably be like this all day because people tend to try to stay inside to beat the heat. I'm Tony DeCopel, and coming up in this hour, David Begno shares the story of a man who is still alive six years after being told he only had six months to live. I'm Michelle Miller. Are you feeling a bit burned out this summer? I know about that. We've got some advice on how to manage that stress from social psychologist Heidi Grant. I'm Nancy Chin. The World Cup journey starts today for the U.S. women's national soccer team. We like their chances, and we'll break down their first match with Susanna Collins of CBS Sports. Yeah, I like their chances, too. Yeah. But first, here's today's eye-opener at 8. 
just so hot this week. The deadly heat wave continues to hammer the south and southwest. That high pressure ridge going all the way up north of the international border next week. So you know what that means. We are going to be toasty. The Pentagon says it does not know the condition of a U.S. soldier who crossed the border into North Korea. We don't know his condition. We don't know um, where he's being held. We don't know um, the status of his health. We're rejoicing. NFL owners approve a more than $6 billion sale of the Washington Commanders. The team has really struggled for the better part of two decades under Dan Snyder. Open the box, play across, look, it's a goal! The Women's World Cup is officially underway, and the U.S. is preparing for its first match tonight. The number one thing is go out there and enjoy it um, and rely on every bit of preparation that, that we've done. The freeze looks like he might go down. No, <laughs> his opposition went down. Oh! And just steps away from victory, a Braves fan face plants in his attempt to beat the freeze in an outfield sprint. Oh, it's like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. You have one chance to beat the freeze, and you might have broken your glasses. Yeah, I didn't even see the, the finish. Who knew what the freeze was? I'm telling you, I... I think Please somebody yeah. th somebody planted a little pebble in his way. It it's nothing like. but pebbles out there on the warning track, but that's a that's a face plant, Michelle. You're that absolutely is a face plant. Hard. I've face never plant. heard of that one. Is a hard. Face plant, though. Boom. Yeah. Poor guy. Well, we have another powerful story for you, and we begin this hour with just that: a story of love and strength. A story of love and strength in the face of devastating news. Our lead national correspondent, David Begna, recently visited a man from South Louisiana who was diagnosed with a fast-growing and aggressive brain cancer six years ago. Doctors told him he didn't have long. But so far, and he's not taking this for granted, he's beaten the odds. And David joins us. So, oh, wow. Good morning, David. Good morning. Got to go back home to tell this one. Mm. Really? If you have ever been diagnosed with a life-threatening illness or you know someone who has, you know that one of the first questions you want to know is, who's beaten it? Who are they? What is their story? That hope is this story. <laughs> On our Spotify, Spotify playlist, all you got to do is search for CBS Mornings mixtape on Spotify or scan the QR code on your screen. I am breaking up a bit here because before we go, we have some sad news we need to impart to you. We learned just a short time ago that the great and legendary singer Tony Bennett died overnight. This according to his publicist. Mr. Bennett was 96 years old. Of course, he became a star in the 1950s, back at a time when rock and roll was just beginning, even though he was no rock and roller. He made it instead with big, easy listening hits like I Left My Heart in San Francisco, and then he kept it up for more than 60 years. And he even made a final lasting impression with a series of duets. I'm sure you've seen him with Lady Gaga before finally retiring a few years ago. And of course, he also developed Alzheimer's late in life. But gosh, people are going to be playing Such his music today. Such a gentleman. Today. Oh, he was a lovely. A giant. Lovely. That does it for us. We'll see you Monday on CBS Mornings. Uh, the heat feels like when you preheat the oven and you open it up. With the unrelenting heat nationwide, roughly 68 million Americans are under some type of heat alert. Well, emergency rooms have seen a spike as the state battles multiple wildfires under this extreme heat. Ukraine, Russian missiles and drones pounded Odessa. The Ukrainians have managed to push the Russian front line back, but the Russians keep attacking what's left. Former President Donald Trump could now be facing his third indictment. Governor Ron DeSantis may be falling short in his effort to stop Trump. Is the former president's legal issues disqualify him? The dual strikes have shut down most of Hollywood. You know, they'll mm. give us some money that they say is what's coming to us, but we can't make enough. We reached out to Netflix, they declined to comment. Same thing with Warner Brothers. The Gilmore Shot Girls. They <laughs> <laughs> have a Simba cam. So you brought your dog and you have to hold it up like Simba. Those and dogs didn't know what was going on. They did not look happy. <laughs> you holding okay. me up right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's Michael Jackson. This is Simba. Okay. Got him. Watch the bat flip. That's pretty athletic. Did you see him tumble and come back out in yeah. the full sprint? Well, you know, when you got a big bat, sometimes you step on it. You wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know, yes. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> baseball, baseball, baseball. Breathing in. No, hey, get, take, take your time, guys. Breathing yeah. out. 
you like boutique hotels and Nate likes big luxury resorts. Is that the vibe I'm giving you? Big luxury hotels? Big luxury, I felt. You're right. I get that, I that right here. Right <laughs> he's right. He's right. To Ed O'Keefe, who's rocking the short sleeves, but never short of words, and we find him at the key primary state of South Carolina, Ed. Smooth, Nate, I like that. I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. I need you to text me your driver's license number as soon as you can. I feel bad. I feel terrible I we about just it. my mom. That was an AI-generated voice. Oh, God. Is this the real you now? This, <laughs> this is the real me now. One in 292.2 million. Those are your odds. <laughs> Belief is right. In a lot of states, they get more money from the lottery than they do from corporate taxes. Corporations have money. The people do not. So are you buying the ticket or not? I think they should be able to take a selfie. That's coming from the selfie queen right here. The craziest fish I have ever seen is the ball cutter. What? Quote, stems from its purported habit of attacking men's testicles. What? Yes. And biting them? Yes. Hey, folks already think that black people don't swim. Can you imagine now? <laughs> hey, yo, Jamal, you want to get in? No, I'm good, fam. Uh,